This juicer is made by the company Breville. It is their Juice Fountain Compact. It is the smallest juicer that the company makes. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Here it is. And as you see, it has a pretty small space or footprint that it takes up on the counter. Um, and it is a centrifugal juicer, which is the fast speed ones. Um, this is the pusher, which is pretty standard on most of these type of juicers. And let's see what else. Um, the feeding tube here is three inches, so that's very, very big. Um, it's only one speed, so it has an on-off button. And to take it apart, you just flip that down, this lifts up. And here we have this uh, is where the uh, it cuts the fruits and vegetables and then it shoots it out and it filters it through the screen so that way it separates the pulp from the juice. Um, the screens on the Breville juicers, I this is the first Breville that I'm using. Um, I'm already seeing right away that the screens are different. They're much, much, much finer than any of the other centrifugal juicers that I've used, um, which means you've really got to keep this clean or else two things will happen that you don't want to. Number one, it will not juice as well because if this gets clogged, it's just not going to be able to separate the juice and the um, uh, pulp. And the other thing is that um, some people have said that the Breville juicers will leak around the area um, and that's because this gets clogged. Now it does come with this cleaner, it's a stiff brush, but a lot of people who have had these for a while have recommended to get a metal brush and uh, that way you can really get in there when you're cleaning it and, and get this cleaned out because maybe it looks clean but you could have a lot of stuff clogged in there and that's going to affect the quality of your juice as well as it could make your juicer start leaking. But if it starts leaking, uh, then that's your, because you're not cleaning this. <laughs> okay, so you got that part and then here this all lifts off into one and what makes this different than any of the other centrifugal juicers I've used is there is not a separate container for the pulp that usually sits on the side. It actually, it's really interesting, it's, um, this is the, where it will collect the pulp, is right here. And then you have a juicer jug which sits off here to the side, and then, so the juice goes into here and then the pulp goes into here. Um, so what that does is it makes it, because this is together here, you don't have the extra jug here, so that saves you space and it's uh, less things to have to clean in the end. Um, then here's the base. Uh, it's um, got some, a pretty decent weight to it, so that's nice. You don't want something too lightweight or flimsy looking. And here you can see that. Uh, very, very simple. Uh, I like the rubber so that it grips the table pretty good um, so it doesn't scoot around or scratch. All right, so we'll put it together, and that's where the juice comes out. See that hole there? The juice comes right out there, so you just line it up to that hole, let that sit down pretty pretty securely, and then you put that in together, and then this goes on top like that. This flips up, and then that goes like that, and then here, this is the juice jug. Um, at first I wasn't sure how to put this together, but see this little notch here? It notches right into there. So that way there's no guessing, oh, do I have it on right? And then you lift it like that. And you can just lift this too. If you, ha if you have this full of juice, you don't want to tilt it after it's done. So when you're done and you have it on here, you can just lift it up a little bit and just scoot it out. And then that's how it sits like that. Um, so I think it's so far I'm, it's looking good. Uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and I'm gonna get some veggies out and I'm gonna test it on some different veggies to see how well it, it works. First thing I'm going to try it on is carrots. Let's fire it up. definitely for design for kind of a single serve make your one juice at a time but if you're making a bunch of juices um, your option is that you can uh, once this fills up because this is going to fill up before this fills up but once this fills up then uh, you can just empty this out and then keep going let's take a look at the pulp and here looks pretty good um, a little bit of moisture but not not a whole lot um, you don't see any big chunks there's no big like wet spots on the bottom or anything like that um, look here uh, but but a little bit of moisture I think that's pretty common for a centrifugal juicer so um, let's take a look at the juice itself okay the juice there's um, a little bit of foam there looks pretty good this is top is actually designed to separate the foam from the juice it all depends how much you pour it in it the foam doesn't go in until the last bit I, I like the foam but some people don't. Uh, so there you go. Next up we have kale. take a look at the kale um, you don't always get it's hard to get juice out of kale in general uh, or leafy greens um, and so it's got some foam on the top but um, looks all right the this kind of juicer is not the absolute best for greens but this is you get this juicer for other reasons not so much for the greens as uh, as you want something really fast you're in a hurry uh, that's what these juices are really good for all right let's take a look at the pulp that's always a big factor here oh, there's a little bit more in here sometimes these things you can have a little juice in there so it's good to tip it in there so it doesn't you don't lose any uh, all right so 
some of it looks good some of it doesn't look so great like here that's like a solid piece that's part of the stem um, some some leaves that are not totally uh, juiced up but then there's some other parts here that uh, that do look decent and here I'm gonna just kind of squeeze it it's actually not bad at all I mean it's got some moisture in there but not if you look through here you don't have any uh, ooh, let's see if I can get that there there's no like uh, liquid pouring around it's actually pretty dry for for what it is um, and uh, And it, yeah, it's actually not bad. It's just, I guess it's just a few areas that didn't look too great to me. Um, but not bad, um, especially for a centrifugal fast juicer. That's actually pretty good for this kind of juicer. Okay, my thoughts are uh, the pros for this. The positive is small footprint, big shoot, super fast to juice. In a matter of seconds, you can just put your stuff in and your juice is ready to go. The positive is because of that, it's perfect to be able to juice and drink it immediately. Uh, no long waiting for the slow juicer to slowly process and cut down the, the uh, veggies for your juice. You don't have to cut up a whole bunch of small pieces. Um, and you can see it was just a matter of seconds of going in and then it's ready. So small footprint, um, pretty easy to clean, but you better keep that basket really clean or it's not gonna function right. And you're gonna need, uh, like the scrubber I showed you in the, in the beginning, make sure you get a good, nice little metal brush to clean that. The negative would be, well, it's loud, of course, they all, uh, all these fast juicers are loud. Um, and it doesn't, um, do, it doesn't juice, it doesn't get every little drop of juice out like it does with a slow juicer, so that's a negative. So, so this is a good one if you're looking for a fast juicer. And I guess that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you next time.